welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to solve this big four SQL interview question in this question we have been given an input table where we have three columns product ID new price and change date and in the output table we have the product ID and new price so the question is determine the price of each product as of 2024086 so basically we need to find the price of each product so here if we see how many distinct product are there one two and three so there are total three distinct product are there and we need to find the price of each product so in the output table if we see we have two columns product ID and the new price right if no price change occurred on or before this date assign a default price of 10 okay so basically if there is no uh, change in the price on or before 16 we need to assign a default price of 10 right so these things will be clearer when we see this output out of this input right so let's start with the uh, analyzing this input and output data so if we see this input table we have the product ID with three records right one is on like 11th of August another is on 12th and uh, the next record is on 16 so basically we need to find on or before 16 right so since we have the record for on we can take this uh, in the output table so we got this and for the product ID 2 if you see we have two records one is on 14th and another is on 15th so we can like we need to find on or before 16th right so the latest is 15 so we need to take that in the output record right and if we talk about product ID 3 we have only one record and that is of 18th right there is none of the record uh, which are uh, whose date are like less than or equal to 18 so we need to assign the default value as 10 right so I think you understood what is the input and what is the output let's let's think of the approach how we can solve this so uh, as I have explained this in uh, my previous videos also so whenever you see a uh, each keyword it is nothing but a group by right it is a group by so basically for each and every product we need to find one corresponding uh, new price column right so for uh, product 1 we know that we have the record for 16 that we can get for product 2 we don't have any record for 16 but we need to find the maximum uh, like change date which are less than 16 right so the first condition we will write is the date the change date should be less than or equal to 16 why because we do not bother what is there after 16 right if there is no record on or before 16 we can assign the default value as 10 so the first condition would be 2024 and 16 so the date should be less than basically the change date should be less than this right this is the first and out of these also so let's say for uh, for a particular product ID we can have the multiple records which are less than 16 right and that we can see uh, for the product ID 1 right so what we need to find out of these also we need to find the maximum one right so we can have the descent like basically I will be not using the group by and uh, writing the max on this date I will be using the rank okay so as I mentioned like we can do this using the group by also but uh, for the solution I will be using a rank you can use the group by on a product ID and take the maximum uh, maximum on the date which is less than 16 you can write this filter right but I will be using a rank so basically what I told you in the where clause we can write this and uh, we can basically have the rank uh, not rank basically the row number and the condition would be like partition on the product ID this is clear and we will order the data on the change date in the descending order why in the descending order because we need to give the rank 1 to the record where the change date is 16 or like it is close to 16 right so that's why we will apply that from there we will get each and every record uh, for which we have the data and uh, there uh, basically uh, the change date basically closer to 16 right now 
the another condition so out if we write this much code we will get only record id 1 and 2 we will not get 3 why because there is no record uh, where the change rate is less than or equal to 16 so for this one what we can do is we can assign the default value we can assign the default as 10 right so now let's see how we can write this in the code right so let's write the code for this one okay so this is the table let's start with the solution select star from this table okay we can see we have these many record okay so as I mentioned we will start with the row number so we can write row I will write the solution quickly as we have already dis discussed the approach so we will write partition by partition by product ID order by change rate in the descending right and we can give this as is uh, RN right and as I mentioned we only bother about the record where the change rate is less than or equal to this value right so we can copy this and write over here so let me run this okay so now you can see we have three record for one and we got the rank one for the record where the change date is uh, 16 right this is the maximum and in the two also we got uh, the rank 1 to 15th right because we have written this uh, in the descending order and we can see we don't have any record with the product ID 3 right why because uh, the change date as I like as I mentioned we need a uh, less than or equal to 16 okay so this we can put in the CT so we can write with CT as right okay so like right select star from CT where RNK RN equal to 1 right and let's run this okay so now we have these two record and I think 40 50 1 and 2 so I think we got the partial data 40 50 1 and 2 now we need to think about for uh, ID 3 right product ID 3 okay let's think for that okay so what we can do is okay let me uh, write this again to show you the actual data okay so we have this data okay basically uh, we need all the product ID right so what we can do we can have the distinct of product ID that will give us 1 2 and 3 that we can use as a left table and the right table would be the CT and uh, we can take uh, and we can have the join on the product ID right so what that will give us is all the IDs the distinct ID so that will give 1 2 and 3 everything for the price we need in the output table we need price right so what we can take is we can take whatever is present in the uh, like the CT table uh, that price we can take and for the missing record from the uh, like the distinct uh, uh, distinct which we have taken from this table for those IDs we can we can assign the default value right so I think this this should be the approach let me write the code the things will be clearer so what we can write over here is we can as I mentioned we will consider the distinct product ID as a left table so we can write select distinct product ID as okay I think as is not required from this table right uh, let me run this and show you what this is giving so we should write from also So you can see we we are getting the distinct product ID so this we can consider as T1 right and we can do the inner join not inner join basically the left join because we need all the record from this table that is the distinct product ID uh, left join on CT as T2 on what so T1 dot product ID so this product ID should join with t2 dot product ID right and this rn equal to 1 we can write over here and rn equal to 1 
okay let me run this so now you can see we have one two and we have three also but the value for this uh, new price is null okay let me filter out only the uh, required record that is the product id product id comma new price okay let me run this then i will show you how we can assign the default value mm, this is giving error product id okay so basically this is ambiguous so we can write t1 dot product id and uh, t2 dot price right because we are getting price from that table right so as i mentioned we are getting uh, null in the price for the product 3 so we need to assign the default value how we can achieve this so we know that we have a keyword called coalesce right how it work is it takes the first not null value so what we are saying is our first preference is t2 dot new price and if this is absent that is null then we need to take as 10 right we can assign this as new price right so i think this should solve our issue so let's run this okay i think we got our required output so and we need to do the order by so order by on product id so let's run this okay so i think we got our required output so for one we have 40 for two we have 50 and for three we have 10 so let's verify for 140, 250 and 310. Yes, I think if you like this content, please do like, subscribe and share the channel. And I have provide, uh, I will provide basically the create statement and insert statement for this question. You can try this by yourself also, right? So let's meet in the next video.